Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to make 3D text. So the two apps you're gonna need, you're gonna need Ibis Paint X and Fonto. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So first you're gonna go to Fonto. Um, you'll go to plain images, just hit a random one, hit color, go to this where it says alpha and put that at zero so it's a PNG. Hit that, hit use. Uh, we'll just do your name, uh, go to font, I have a few fonts, I'll just use, uh, what do we want to use, golly, I'll just use this one, so you're gonna set this in the middle, and then you're going to hit style, and go to style there, hit spacing, and for line spacing, you want to make it like really, like, like around there and then you're gonna do that and then you can play around with the size again make it a decent size something like that then you're going to save images png and i'll save go to ibis paint x all right my gallery hit this plus button bottom left corner hit import photo and click that one hit cancel i'll go to effects and go to extrude perspective and choose random color. I'll just, uh, I'll just do a blue. Something like that. No, I don't like that. We'll just do that. Uh, you can change how 3D you want it, but if you go too far, it's not gonna look good. I usually just go to, uh, I usually just, go to this or five or i usually do five i usually turn shading off i'm not a big fan of that uh but yeah you can also do extrude parallel but i just use perspective and then there's that so you'll hit this uh bottom right thing here and uh save as transparent png uh then you're gonna go to safari go to photo p File. I'll put this PSD with the effects in the. Uh, thing. It was this one, I believe. I'll put yeah. I'll put the PS this PSD with the effects in. Uh, you're going to file, open place, photo library, put your photo in, and then you're going to hold down where it says effects and drag it up to your new layer. Click that. Get rid of it. And there you have it. So that's how you do 3D text in Photop. I mean, on mobile. And you can also just export as PNG and save that. But yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Peace.